angels it's looking brats aka dom welcome back to my channel if you're new here then welcome on this channel i love to talk about dolls and especially brats brats are my number one they're my everything i love them so in this video what we're gonna do is open up this case of mini brats and i got a package today from mga and it was Mini Brad Series 3. This started coming out pretty early, actually. I want to say it started sometime in October or November. They were first spotted at Target, then they kind of started slowly seeping their way through Target stores. And then officially, over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, they were released on Amazon. And then it just kind of snowballed from there, and they are officially out in stores now. In the US, these are currently at Target. There's this display and there's also a longer display, the ones that kind of like go up against a wall or something like that. This one seems to be the most common one. And my friend Pancake Boss did a placement guide, so I'm going to link the placement guide in the description so that you could see what he did and created. I already took some of these out of the box because I wanted to do like videos and stuff with them, like little reels. So this is not going to be in the exact order, unfortunately, but I think you get the gist. We're going to be unboxing the full Mini Brad Series 3. And this one honestly might be the most exciting one yet. I was really, really thrilled to see all of these like, you know, lines come back in this form. It would be cool if we got some full-sized reproductions of, like, Formal Funk and Tokyo Go-Go -Go and a Slumber Party is kind of guaranteed. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Live in Concert, one of my favorite collections, and I am missing a Nevra, but I already opened a Nevra up when I did, um, I did an Instagram reel because I bought one Mini Bratz because, you know, the holidays... I'm a little strapped for cash. <laughs> I think my bank account's in the negative right now, just to be very, just to be very honest. Holidays drained my bank account, and this, <laughs> this holiday season was sponsored by PayPal Pay in 4, and that's all I gotta say on that, but I'm very thankful, thank you to MGA for sending over these goodies. I'm really excited to open the series. This is the first time they've sent me like a full series. Like whatever they send me, I'm super duper thankful for. But, oh, oh, I forgot. I also got the Mini Brats collector case. <gasps> they sent me the Mini Brats collector case. The only thing I'm missing now is the Mini Brats two pack and like Kylie series two. Um, I'm probably gonna get Kylie series two soon, but that's like barely even out in stores at the moment. And then the Mini Bratz carrying case. This one came to stores. But the Mini Bratz 2-pack with the Tweevils and Felicia isn't coming to stores, or at least didn't. But I don't think they are, to be honest. Like, it's just been, like, Amazon and lolsurprise.com and Bratz.com. So it's kind of an online exclusive at this point. But this one came to stores. But... Oh my goodness, I forgot I got the, the carrying case, and it does come with a Pretty and Punk Sasha. So we're going to unbox this, because this is... Oh god. I will tell you, I saw this in Walmart, and I think I almost broke down in the middle of Walmart, because I got really emotional. I'm getting really emotional about Brad's lately, and I feel like I've talked about this in some other videos, especially in my Big Kylie video, and in my uh, Brad's Boyles... Brad's Bull... Brad's Boys Wildlife Safari flashback review, which I want to do more of. I want to do more flashback reviews, but my love for Brad's has truly just been reignited, and I felt like there was a moment in time where I felt, not like felt out of love with Brad's, but I was starting to lose hope, and then once 2022, like the fall 2022 came around, I was kind of like, okay, like we're on the right path, and now I just, I feel like uh, I'm so, just so hopeful for the Brad's future. I've talked about it a lot. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but... Yeah, I br almost broke down in the middle of Walmart <laughs> because I saw this. I saw a bunch of these actually in Walmart and I was just like, oh my goodness. Like, it, just like seeing the big Bratz logo, like just like this. And just seeing like, uh, like a whole row of them. And I was like, like, oh my goodness. Like, I would not have thought this would happen. Like, even a year ago, I would have been like, I don't see that happening two years ago i would have said hell no that would never happen three years ago i would have been like i don't even think brats are gonna end up in stores anymore but we're in such a different time right now brats is truly 
truly doing their big one. This got me really excited. So yeah, I was in the middle of this Walmart, like about to burst out into tears. Like I was, I get so emotional, baby. Sorry, I, it's late. <laughs> it's late. And if you've watched my videos before, you know how I get after midnight and you feed me, I'm like a gremlin. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna unbox this stuff and yeah, let's get into it. Mini Bratz, Mini Bratz Series 3 and collector case. Also, I got some new lighting. So if you are watching, I don't know, I, I'm wearing the same shirt that I'm wearing in like two or three other videos, so don't mind me. I'm filming a lot today and I got new lighting, so please tell me what you think of it. I'm trying to do like a little bit more of like a, not like a moody setup, but like a moody setup where it's just a little bit more like brighter in some areas, but also not like super like, I don't know. I want it to, I, not that like everything has to be like professional, but I do want it to look a little bit more polished and clean. And not that I feel like my stuff hasn't been polished or clean, but sometimes I think like, you know, I'm very self-critical. If you couldn't tell, <laughs> I'm very, very self-critical. So I just, I want things to look the best. And I'm really trying to go into the new year with, uh, I don't know, like a new lease on life and some new I just want to, I want a really good 2024, and I'm very much manifesting that, and um, yeah, I hope all of you had a great holiday season, and I hope y'all are going to have some great 2024s. 2023 was a little bit of a rough one. Could have been worse, though. It could have been worse, and it's been worse before that. I, it's, it just feels weird, though. Like, it feels like the time, I don't know, it feels like time barely passed since last year, but also at the same time, like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, it gets weird, sorry. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open up the Mini Bratz Collector Case, and if you didn't know, now you're gonna know. So the Mini Bratz Collector Case holds over 60 plus Bratz Minis, and it comes with an exclusive Pretty and Punk Sasha. And here's what the inside looks like. It shows you like in an example of what you can do, it can be used as a display, it can be used for storage. I don't quite know what I'm gonna use it for yet. I feel like it might be good for storage at the moment. And honestly, I'm trying to think of like, I really wanna store, I have all of my mini brats on the series two big display that I took from the store. And I really, I don't, not that I dislike the mini cosmetics, but they feel a little bit out of place with the rest of the minis at the moment. So I might want to, potentially put those away um but we'll see i love this like i like come on I, we need like a, a case for the brats again like the little handbags they used to make uh the carrying cases and the fashion organizers we need that back imagine like a imagine that updated with always brats artwork and like you get the new the slots for the accessories and stuff, and it has like the always brats. <laughs> I would literally MGA hire me. I have an idea. <laughs> I'm getting all these ideas for brats products lately, and I'm like, if I worked full time at MGA, I think I can make them roll in the dough. <laughs> I think I could, I think I could give brats fans what they want. But yeah, we're gonna open this up. I just took the little tag off, and now I'm going to get her open so this retails for $30 29.99 US dollars you can find this currently at Walmart stores in the US or you can buy it online I don't I don't know if there's been any sales for this really I haven't checked but we open it up it opens like all the way and it, it click connects and there are holes on the back here there's three holes here so if you do want to like screw it into the wall or do a push pin, whatever, you can totally do that. You can also probably like command hook it, like command strips to the wall or something like that. There are no holes on this side, which makes sense because this is like the logo side. So just keep that in mind if you are looking to display it on the wall. I really love the big Bratz logo here though. Like I just think it looks so cool like this. And here are the compartments. It definitely is like more of a storage case type of situation, but I, it could definitely double as a display. I feel like LOL Surprise did something similar with that one like 
fashion, not fashion show. It was like a, it was a cool display. I actually have that display and it came with that golden baby. That was so, so cute. But anyways, this is what the inside looks like. There's a lot of different compartments, a lot of different shapes going on. Low key, I might want to get a second one at some point because I don't know, maybe I would want to display them in here. I have no clue. I just don't have like the space fully to like put it out like this, but I feel like I could have the space to at least display it like this. And it's a really cool display piece. Like I think this would look really cool. I love the lip handle, like the lip on the handle. And I love all the lips on here. I love that Bratz is leaning more into like the lipography of it all because I feel like in the past, not that they've like straight away from like the lips, but like I feel like with the start of the Kylie collab and everything, like they started incorporating lips a little bit more frequently. They used to do it back in the day, but I don't know. I'm, I'm glad to see the lips. Lips are making a comeback. <laughs> Thank goodness. But yeah, that is that. And then there are instructions here on how to like screw it into a wall. Obviously it doesn't come with any of the tools to screw it in. There's no screwdriver, there's no screws, but it does give like recommendations on what you can do and what maybe you shan't do. And then the, where did Sasha go? She like flew under my thing. But here is mini Sasha. Now if we could just get a little bit, okay. There we are. She does look a little funny. She looks just this, her face, her face looks kind of different from other mini brats. It almost looks a little bit more sculpted in a way, but still pretty cool. And I think it's very smart to include her as an exclusive because obviously, oh, is this, something about her feels different, like the packaging, perhaps just, maybe I'm not used to seeing Pretty and Punk Sasha like this, but I don't know, something just feels a little bit different. Maybe like the, the plastic shell inside, maybe it's the size of the logo, like her, her name here I'm not sure exactly but whatever it's nothing to really stress about but Pretty Punk Sasha was definitely like one of my fave dolls of 2023 so love that she is in mini form here and the first two Jade and Chloe of the mini brats came in series one and then series two was Megan, Eaton, and Yasmin and then of course Sasha had to be the exclusive I thought she was gonna come with series three until we found out that she would be part of this collector case. So it makes sense, it's smart. You know, you get people to buy the case and then, you know, do it, get it. And then you get uh, an exclusive mini. Okay, you can tell like I'm probably really traumatized by the last eight years of being a Bratz collector because <laughs> I, I hold on to like everything. This might be some sort of, this might be a deeper issue. I don't know. Maybe not. I think I might just be dramatic, but it's like, I hold on to like instructions and I hold on. And even like, I started this with LOL Surprise. I hold on to instructions. I hold on to pamphlets. I hold on to everything I can. And it's like not much to store because it's just like papers. It's all flat. Like I hold on to like cardboard pieces. Like I'm definitely like, I'm holding on to this because I don't know, like it's easy to store, but it's also like, what if I never have the chance again? Like that is like the trauma that you have to deal with as a Bratz collector. <laughs> anyways, anyways, we're gonna move on to Mini Bratz series. <laughs> so this is the display that um, I've seen in most stores. I haven't seen the long box display yet. Um, and I don't think there's a placement guide out there for that. Uh, don't rely on this video as a placement guide because I, I messed up the first two rows. But in the display, you can already see there is live in concert Chloe, the Tokyo Agogo Cruiser in yellow. There's also a green version, I think, but just not in the series. Maybe they'll do it for the next series. And there will be a series four because if you saw my video, which you should go check out actually, it's like my, I don't know, my Bratz News 2023 something, mini Bratz something. I don't know what I called it, to be honest. But I love making those types of videos because it's like informative, but also like I get to like just talk about Bratz. You know, I love to talk about Bratz. And we're gonna get Bratz Princess, mini Bratz Princess. I think we're gonna get the rest of Live in Concert. It looks like we're, we, we might be getting Beach Party, possibly. Uh, Formal Fung Dana, I believe, was in that picture that Isaac Larian posted on LinkedIn. So there's there's definitely some cool stuff for Series 4. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we get Always Bratz minis. Like, that would be so cool. I feel like they'll do it. And I'm, I'm glad that we're getting Series 3 so soon because Series 2 released back in June? 
like May or June. And it was like almost a whole year after series one came out. And I'm sorry, but that just is not cutting it. We got to do at least two to three series a year to like really like keep the fans engaged. Because I was getting a little bit like, I was like, where's series two? It took a while. But series three came out like maybe six months after series two. So, hey, I think we're, we're winning. Brett's fans are winning lately. So something new about series two is that they do come in these green capsules, which I love them switching it up. Green was definitely an interesting choice, I won't lie, but I love that they're switching it up. I hope they continue to like divers, div diversify the colors of the capsules, capsules, the capsules. So <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're like just to dis distinguish like the series words to distinguish the series is a little bit more. And yeah, I, I will say I, I'm getting sick of this artwork here. I hope they change this. I know that it's like uh, association, like with the brand, like it's the iconic first edition artwork, but I don't know. I feel like maybe they can do something else with it. And something I noticed interesting, there is no mini verse branding on this. Nothing. Oh, it says it on the bottom. Never mind. Mini verse. I have noticed though that the mini verse. Uh, brand and the overall the Instagram and everything the social medias they are a little bit more geared towards like the make it mini foods and the lifestyle products which I totally get because those are so fun I'm looking forward to the lifestyle products I haven't seen many yet I didn't see the I saw the Halloween series once but I didn't get it and I kind of regret it because I do want the Halloween series but whatever I'm getting off topic I I've noticed that mini breaths is more advertised now on the main Bratz Instagram account, which makes sense because it acts as a Bratz sub brand. But anyways, we're going to open these up. I'm not going to save this because I think I already saved. Oh, I didn't save the one I want. The one I, I already got because I got Live in Concert Nevra and the Cruiser, which I really wanted because I don't have a real Live in Concert Nevra. I have a full size one. So one day we're going to manifest, manifest in 2024, Dominic from Looking Bratz is going to get live in concert Nevra in full, in the full scope of everything. We're gonna open up my second ever mini wraps though. And we got Slumber Party cheat. So talking about Slumber Party, Slumber Party is basically confirmed to happen at some point. We are going to get Slumber Party reproductions, like full size reproductions, hopefully in 2024. Target inventory listings were found, so that is a go. The next one we have is Live in Concert Chloe. Now, this is interesting, though, because she's kind of posed like, hello, like, um, and what? So we do have Chloe. What's interesting is they're using the packaging that has all six of the Live in Concert girls on it. I do hope we get Dana. No, Dana is in this series, sorry. Yasmin and Jade are not in series three. So hopefully we get them in series four. I would be kind of shocked if we didn't, but I do notice they updated all the artwork on them. Like Nevra and Sasha have updated skin tones, which originally they're probably, you know how they were. And we also have a checklist in here, which is pretty, pretty neat and dandy. They started this with series two and I'm glad they started it because I was very shocked that series one didn't have a checklist, but I do know that the team kind of switched over after series one. I don't know. Can I share that? Well, I think it's pretty obvious because there was a lot of changes with between series one and series two. There was a lot of improvements in certain areas. So not like change teams. I think it just got kind of like redirected to the main Bratz team in collaboration with Miniverse, whereas I felt like the Miniverse team was kind of solely in charge of it before. But we're gonna open up our next one and we're gonna see who we get. I do hope... Oh, We got Series 3 Felicia. And I love like the timeline because this is only like a few months after the Series 3 Felicia doll came out. And like Series 3, like it's all in Series 3 of Mini Brat, so it's kind of like mirroring like real life here. They're trying to mimic the murders. So we got Felicia. Her coloring is kind of different. Like her shirt looks different from her actual doll. I was gonna pull Felicia off the shelf to show you, but she's in her second outfit. <laughs> but yeah, she looks so cute. You know what would be really cute if we got Moa Lola minis, but I feel like there should be 
just a Bratz mini designer series where they just do reproductions of all the mini mini reproductions of all the designer dolls. So next one is very big and it is, oh, I didn't know Formal Funk was this big. It's Formal Funk Chloe. Wow, 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 whoa, oh, girl. So something to note here is that on most of the mini brats, they do have barcodes on the bottom of them. They have like all the general details. On Formal Funk, there's no barcode, there's no legal information. It just says Bratz Formal Funk with the artwork. And then the back looks pretty, pretty standard, I guess. But yeah, Formal Funk, Chloe. The box is huge. This is huge. Wait, look, look, side by side, up and down. It's like twice the size. It reminds me of the Kylie with the off-white dress. Um, well, not the, the dress was white, but the brand was off-white. <laughs> How big that box was. So it's a very big box. She looks so cute though. I love, they have like a lot of texture in the dress and there's like little painted details for her corsage on her wrist. Really, really neat. I love that so much. I hope I can get like more of these so that I can um, unbox them. Cause I only, I'm only gonna have my inbox set, which honestly is kind of fine, but my leg fell asleep. We're gonna open up our next one and we'll, we'll see who it is. That was a big box though, whoa. And now we have live in concert, Dana. That is so cute. And they really like nailed down a lot of the details that are on the original doll. They even kind of made it look like she had that like PVC top that she has. I, I don't know if you can see her. Oh, hold up, hold up, come on. Come here, Dana. She has that like PVC top. I love that. That is just so neat. Although the sleeves are not right. The sleeves on here are purple, whereas she does have clear sleeves on the original doll. But regardless, I love her. Now I'm looking over and I see like all my dolls. I would love to see reproductions, like mini ones of the Hollywood style dolls. Like all the random budget dolls we got over the years I think would be really fun. Like eye candy or Hollywood style. Some of the, <gasps> imagine a head games four pack. Oh, that would be kind of insane at a mini scale. And the next doll we have is series three Fiona. 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 I love to say her name like that. Oh, my foot, my leg's asleep. My leg is asleep right now. Come on, wake up. Wake up, wake up on a Saturday night. Okay, we're gonna open up our next one. Okay, we have another big box here. Is it a formal funk? It's formal funk. Yasmin. Yasmin. Her box isn't as big as Chloe's, I will say. It's just slightly thinner. So yeah, it's just a little bit thinner. I think because Chloe has a really big poofy dress. But yeah, here's Formal Funk Yasmin. She looks so cool. I really want the Formal Funk dolls. Oh my god, they really got the details down in like her headband and stuff too. And in the dress... I love to see them like doing like the most with the minis. Like it's just so, so cool. And I feel like minis like, they require a lot of effort to produce obviously. Like you have to sculpt these models and you have to make sure you get the details and all the patterns down of the original dolls. But I feel like they're also like easy to produce in a sense. Like you can just like put out like a, a mini breast and it's there. And the next doll we have is a series three Tiana. She looks, yeah, pretty spot on. I just love, I love all the tiny details they do. I'm just, oh, I love mini brats so much. Like, I'm sorry, like some people really dislike mini brats and I'm like, you could never, I, I, I literally, I don't think I could hate on anything brats really, but you could never make me hate mini brats, ever. So I love that they're doing this now in the back because they do this for LOL Surprise and Miniverse, the other Miniverse toys, but now they put like sold out on the back to let you know that they're letting you know that it's sold out like hot toy sold out i love it when they do that i think it's very it's funny it's funny but it's also like true like hey it is a hot toy it did sell out good it deserves to um i think mini brats like 
it's so, it's so fun and it's like it's low maintenance and I, I love a low maintenance thing to be honest that's why i've been really excited about like brett's babies coming back because i don't gotta do their hair i can let them live i am saving this one i am doing my one where i save the packaging and i put it over so that it's like you know what i mean did i save the other one i might have saved it already who cares though i'll save it again okay i think we got a live in concert we got live in concert, Sasha. Live in concert, Sasha. She does have a barcode. Maybe they will reproduce them one day. Who knows? I I, I wouldn't mind. I feel like the Tokyo Go Go. If they do Tokyo Go Go first, then live in concert, they'll have the tooling because they're the same screenings as Tokyo Go Go. I think it could be really cool. But yeah, we do have Sasha here. I hope it's focusing. I don't know. I'm having issues because I think of the light. I'm not used to this lighting fully, so just bear with me. I think we have another formal funk here, or maybe... Oh, I'm wrong. It is Yasmin's Funky Fashion Makeover Styling Head. I need them to reproduce these at full scale. Like, I need... I need... Styling heads with nylon hair. Like, Funky Fashion Makeover, nylon collab. Let's Let's make it happen. We gotta make this dream happen here. I think people really loved the funky fashion makeover heads growing up, so I think those would be really successful, honestly. And there's not a lot of styling heads on the market, generally, so... I'm sure there's a reason for that. <laughs> they probably don't sell as well, but hey. Next one. I can't believe like they sent me the full series. I'm kind of, like, gagged. But also, with all the promo I do for breasts... I am like the Brat, unofficial Brat Street Team. I am the unofficial Brat Street Team. And there's no denying that, honestly. We have Slumber Party, Megan. It's interesting, her hair looks very, very light. Although I do feel like her original doll, like Slumber Party Megan's hair is pretty light. And something one of my friends pointed out to me, shout out to Emil at Brats the World, is that the back of the box says something. It says, I come with a salon chair, which the original Slumber Party dolls don't come with a salon chair a makeup counter, a comfy top, com cozy bottoms, yes, her outfit. She comes with her eye mask, her overnight Brad's pack, her like bag, and tons of super style and accessories, so not specific about the accessories, and her fuzzy slippers. It doesn't mention a second outfit and it does not mention her stuffed animal. Although, I don't know if this is, like, for the reproductions, to be honest. Like, it totally could be. Who knows? But if that is the case, I do hope they come with their stuffed animals. Because I feel like those are pretty iconic. For Jade, though, some people pointed out that her bag shows a caricature of um, an Asian person. And it does have, like, sort of racist undertones. And so I do hope they are able to change that in the reproduction. And I do think, honestly, just to match with the other girls, having, like, a, the caricature on there doesn't make sense at all. And I think just having, like, the cool cat logo, like, her cat on it would make a lot more sense. So hopefully, like, they've taken that into account. But anyways, just some interesting things to note about potential Slumber Party reproductions. Next one we have is Formal Funk Jade. Oh... I really want formal funk now. I want formal funk dolls. They're just so expensive. But she looks so good. Just reproduce it all. Just reproduce it all at this point. Just reproduce it. Like, I think reproductions are good. When you mix them with new playline and like the designer stuff and all of that. I Obviously, Bretts cannot survive off reproductions. But if they can do reproductions in between creating new innovative things like i think that would be really cool i feel like that's the direction like now that we have always brats coming out i think that is the direction they're going in so hopefully hopefully that stays that stays happening and the next doll we have is slumber party sasha just really really cool really she has very orange lips though <laughs> very very orange lipstick and the next doll we have, I think it's another formal funk doll. 
Oh no, it's Tokyo Go Go Jade. There's a lot of jades in this um, lineup here. We got Tokyo Go Go Jade. I would love Tokyo Go Go Repros. I'm just, now that, like, we don't know when Slumber Party's happening, so I'm like, when will this happen if it does happen? I think a lot of people are anticipating it. A lot of people are kind of counting on it, so. Who knows? I do hope, because uh, Tokyo Go Go's a line I would really love to have. And, like, just reproducing it, like, would be so much easier. I do feel like they'll cut corners in some areas, but, hey, it happens, right? We have the Bratz Plugged In TV. I love it when they produce little accessories like this. And we're gonna we're gonna open it up so that we can actually see the inside of it because you can't even get the full scope of what's in the package here. But they, oh my God, they even reproduced like the graphics from like the original. That is so crazy to me. Okay, so in we have, it's come sealed like this. So they did put some extra effort here. And this comes with, the TV, and I believe there's a remote in here. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a room. Oh, it's in here. It's so tiny. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's the TV. It's modeled after the real Bratz plugged in TV. It has like little details all over it. Like, that is so wild. And then there's a really, really tiny remote. If you're opening this, be careful. This is like super duper tiny. I think they, they should have made it all just a little bit bigger. Maybe something to like give the dolls, like just making it slightly bigger because I don't think the dolls would watch a TV like this, but it's still pretty cool. Like nonetheless, like very, very impressive. I do want to just put this back in here because I don't want to lose that remote piece, but that is what is inside the mini Bratz plugged in TV. I love that they're doing the accessories again because I love the lip phone accessory they did. And then we have formal Funk Sasha. She looks so gorgeous. I, ooh. They fixed her art. I'm dropping everything. They fixed her artwork here as well. I love her color palette here so much. I was just saying that I love Sasha in blues. Like she just looks so good in them. Ah, oh, we, need, we need Formal Funk back, sorry. I'm kind of hoping for Formal Funk. I want Formal Funk, Wintertime Wonderland, Tokyo, Go, Go. Summer Party I'll take. Um, those are kind of my, my on my wish list. It's live in concert too, but maybe not. It's not as important to me to get live in concert. I would really just love a live in concert Nefra. Whether she's a repro or not, I don't mind. But who knows, we might not, we may not ever get a repro of that. And I'd be okay with that, but I'd also be a little bit sad if I never got a live in concert ever. But you know what's fun? Like, I have, like, all these, like, wants as a Bratz fan that don't stem just from new releases. And it's like, you know, you can kind of create the hunt for yourself. It kind of gives you the satisfaction of once you finally own that thing and you get it at, you know, a price that you would want. For me, it's about affordability. And in my collection, I can't say I've spent a ton of money on each individual item. Yes, all together, like a lot of money. I think what's fun is like you get to build your collection for me personally. Some people like instant gratification, but I think for me it's more satisfying when I can find things for good deals and reasonable prices and I can pay those prices and I can have the doll or I can fix up the doll even and put the pieces together. And I think it, there's a lot of satisfaction for me from that. But for some people, it's about instant gratification. And if that means spending $900 in a live in concert, Nevra, if you got the money for it, go for it. I don't. So that is that on that. But, oh, okay. This is, this is going to be live in concert, Nevra and the cruiser. I'm going to open this for my, I'm going to give this to my boyfriend. He's coming over tomorrow. I'm going to see him for the first time in over a month. But I think he's going to want this. I already got her. So, but here she is. Manifesting you in the new year. Oh, I should put a thing over that. He's going to know I unboxed it, but you know. We're going to open up. Oh, let me, let me do the thing. Let me open it. He'll still get somewhat of a surprise. Because it'll be back in the box. Love you, Richie. Miniverse branding is still on here. So it's still a Miniverse brand, which I didn't think it would ever not be, but... Mini Bratz definitely stands on its own the same way Mini Verse stands on its own as well. Okay, we only have 
three more, including this one. So I love seeing all these mini brats. I love mini brats. And this is going to be a longer video. So I think people, I think a lot of my viewers love the long videos and I love giving it to y'all. Here's Slumber Party Chloe. I have to say, I think she might be my favorite from Slumber Party generally. And she has the, she's the pigtail version. If you didn't know, and now I'm going to tell you, there were two editions of Slumber Party in 2003. And this one is the second edition that comes with the high pigtails. The first edition came with pigtails that had twists in them. So if you are interested in seeing the variants and learning more about Bratz products, I created the largest Bratz archive database, whatever you want to call it, at lookinbrats.com. So you can find more information about the Slumber Party dolls in the 2003 dolls page in the Bratz section of the website. And on lookinbrats.com, I have over 10,000 Bratz products archived and uh, taken account for there. So definitely check that out. Support the website. I would appreciate it so, so much. And yeah, we got Summer Party here, Chloe, and I love the high pigtail version. Definitely like in my eyes, the superior version of that doll. And the next product we have here is the Tokyo Agogo RC Cruiser. And it also comes with a little remote inside. I love that. Like, it's just so cool that they add those little details. Like, there's there's a lot of thought and love going into it. And I appreciate that a lot. I love seeing thought and love going into Bratz. <laughs> it's everything I could have wished for. And, the, oh, we have two more. We have two more. Sorry. I was like, I'm just going to like, oh my goodness. I thought there were two more. We do have two more. The first, oh, this is a interesting package oh it's oh <laughs> it's the phone booth i have the phone booth it's right behind me they even got the little telephone like the label on it and there's gonna be a version like a pink version i think or a purple one that comes with the mini kylie series too so that's so cool i kind of wish this got reproduced but honestly it's super duper easy to find on the secondhand market and it's relatively cheap my best friend she gifted this one to me from her um childhood collection so that was really fun and nice of her it looks so good on my display i love the moa dolls next to the pretty and pink dolls just as a side note and we have bratz boys series three kobe fun we have one more and I'll be honest, I don't even know eyeballing it. I think we might be missing a live in concert. So I think, oh, I think we might get live in concert. Oh no, we're not missing a live in concert. I don't know who we're gonna get, honestly. But I guess we're gonna find out together. Maybe a Series 3 doll? Okay, let's open her up. Let's open her up, because now I'm a little bit. What's, what am I gonna get? We got Series 3 Dana. Oh, she looks really cool. And she comes in her second outfit. So if you didn't know, um, which you would have known if you had watched, maybe not watched the video. If you had read my Series 3 review on lookingbrats.com, I give y'all the T on there and it goes, it goes under the radar. But I told y'all there was gonna be a variant of Dana in her second outfit in the actual full-sized versions. And everybody came to me, like, shocked, like, is there a variant? I'm like, yes, girl. I told y'all in June or July. And the last doll we have is Tokyo Agogo Yasmin. So that pretty much completes the main Tokyo Agogo line. If they do decide to pursue the rest of Tokyo Agogo, there's a lot more dolls they could honestly do. They could do the dance and skate club playset. They could do the rest of the kimono girls. They got Maylin and Tiana they haven't done. And they haven't done the rest of the, they haven't done any of the boys actually. They could do Cameron, Dylan, and Eaton if they wanted to. I don't know if they will. And they could also do the green cruiser. So I don't know if Tokyo Gogo's days are done yet, but I guess we'll find out at some point. Now I'm trying to like look at the Tokyo Gogo -Go package to see if there's any differences, but I cannot even read that unless I get a magnifying glass. So I'm not going to bother right now because you saw me struggling with the Slumber Party dolls. But that just about concludes this video. I've opened them all and um, I have a bunch of minis here. Let me put them in my case and um, we, can, we can take a look together at all of them. 
Ooh, these are gonna be awkward to fit in the case. Okay, I found a spot, Never mind. Okay, looking at the ones we got today. <laughs> Slumber party, I think, essentially is done for. I don't know if they'll... Re There's not much else to produce from there. I would love to see Nighty Night reproductions, like, in mini form. I think that would be a nice follow-up to the fact that they did Slumber Party. Series 3 is done for. Live in concert. Never would be here, but my Never is, like, across the room, so I'm not grabbing her right now. But we have Nevra, Chloe, Sasha... Nev Oh, never Dana, sorry. <laughs> never Dana, Sasha, and Chloe. So that means Jade and Yasmin are missing. So hopefully in the future we get them. And I just, I dropped. Oh, what did I just drop? And we have the core four in formal funk. So that means they could also do Dana. If they wanted to, they could probably do the boys one day. There's a lot of opportunities here. We have the yellow cruiser from Tokyo Gogo, -Go, So they could still do the green one potentially. We have Yasmin Styling Head, Funky Fashion Makeover. We do know Jade is happening, so probably with Series 4, we will get Jade's Funky Fashion Makeover Head. We have Tokyo Go Go, Yasmin and Jade, which just about completes the Bratz Girls of Tokyo Go Go. Unless, of course, as I mentioned before, they go in a different direction. Slumber Party, I think we just said it is done. Am I missing one? Oh, Yasmin. Yasmin came with Sirius 2. I was like, oh my god, am I losing my mind? Yasmin came with Sirius 2 Summer Party, so she was like the only one of Summer Party in Mini Bretts at that point. We have Pretty Punk Sasha and the Phone Booth, which just about completes that. Unless they go with the Pretty and Punk motorbike, they could totally do that. And I think that, I think I just went through all of them. So yeah, that's, that's it. That's Mini Bretts. And, um, can I close this? Okay. I just did. <laughs> Yeah, that is just about it. I have a lot of Mini Bretts wishes. I don't know when Series 4 is coming out. I'm going to suspect sometime in the spring or potentially in the summer. Kind of the same as possibly, like, maybe in, like, four to five months from now. I would possibly think, but who knows. I know Kylie Series 2 is barely out. It, it popped up in November, and then, like, nobody's really found it since. So we'll probably see more Kylie Series 2 come up for the minis. And then I think that'll end up the Kylie era. I think Kylie's era is done after that point. And then Mini Bretts Series 4 will come at some point. And then there's going to be Mini Bretts Babies. So Mini Bretts Babies is going to be mini versions of the Bretts Babies. And it'll probably be the same as Mini Bretts here, but with the babies instead. So we can look forward to seeing that. That'll be the same price point. These are all $10.00. USD and so will the mini babies so we can look forward to that at some point I don't know when that's happening we don't even know like the release date so sometime in the ne new year the next year 2024 we can look forward to mini Bretts babies and I'm surprised I genuinely thought we were gonna get mini Bretts babies in like one of the main Bretts mini Bret series but we didn't and now it's just gonna get its own line so hey you know, we won at the end of the day, but yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know some of y'all love these lengthy videos, so I'm, I'm just here to deliver. Deliver! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you again to MGA for sending this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great, uh, great. I hope you have a great day or night, whatever it is by you. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Bratz and doll content. And make sure to follow me on all socials at Lookin' Bratz. Hold the G on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. Go to LookinBrats.com. And thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.